Hello everyone, welcome back to Chaos Factor Studios, and today we are going to be reviewing what happened in the 18th episode of Minecraft. In this episode of Minecraft, we did have a little bit of a slip up on the actual recording. Everybody knows when you're on a computer, anything that can go wrong will go wrong, in which in this case, uh, my video card, not my video card, but uh, my storage in general on my computer filled up. So as I was recording the video, it stopped me and said it could not record anymore, or it will fill up my disk my storage in general on my computer. So it did stall the recording and I did magically appear some of the design of my house which you'll see in just a moment. Uh, but it was mainly an interior design episode of Minecraft which has been a pretty classic design of these recent episodes. So I hope you guys enjoy it and I hope you guys think I have a beautiful house because it's beautiful. Welcome back ladies and gentlemen to another episode of Vanilla Minecraft where today we have uh, now appeared in uh, our fairly extra finished minecraft house so i did record the episode of making this kitchen here but uh my computer then ran out of space for the video to be downloading in so uh it ended up stopping the recording and every single time it does that it's like would you like to retrieve the recording and continue recording i'm like yeah sure why not and then it just doesn't do that it just kind of deletes the recording and then i'm screwed but one of the things that I just noticed that, uh, no, you know what, I was gonna, I was thinking of changing this. I kind of wanted to do just, uh, curved steps for that, but, uh, I don't really want to abuse the curved steps that much. It looked too much like the walls, and I kind of like the way that it is now, so ignore what I was just thinking. But, uh, essentially everything was running all nice and spiffy, and we got this recorded, but, uh, that recording got deleted. So, uh, pretty much what I brought up is, uh, after I made this, uh... It's an overhead because it's pretty standard in the kitchen, and then I have a little table set here, and uh, just a cooking tabletop here, which I may put uh, uh, the po uh, flower pots. That's what the, that's what those are called on top of that because I think they're a nice like cup design. They they're pretty much the most similar to cups that you can get in the game. So I might put those eventually, and then eventually I might find some sort of black and white texture to checkerboard at the bottom of this because it's a nice stereotypical uh, kitchen look. So then the next step of uh, finishing the interiors of this house was I was going to work on uh, this kit, uh, the living space here. And one of the things is that I uh, realized that this section over here is really thin, so it's kind of hard to build anything in there because there isn't much space to build anything. But what I thought of just now is I really like crafting stations. I think it's a cool concept and everything. Rather than just having a single crafting table just sitting there, you actually have like a surface that uh, you would be building on, and there's uh, just item. There's spaces in general that's not just a basic uh, crafting table, and it makes it easier to, uh, or d it just aesthetically looks better to me to have the crafting table there. So then what I just did there was I ripped out uh, a section of the floor. So I can take some wood. I kind of didn't want to use the wood that I have remaining in my inventory, but it looks like I'm running out in general. Uh, and I'm going to make a uh, crafting bench for underneath it. So if I ever decide to store things in here, then I can do so. Like I have way too much sticks in my inventory right now, and underneath the crafting table is a nice place for those. Uh, along with purple wool. And a lot of probably a lot of aesthetic things in general will go in there. So then, uh, one of the things that I also wanted to do this video is I don't want these paths in the center here to just be plain wood. I think it looks pretty lame, and I think we could make it look a lot brighter in here by collecting up some red flowers. First of all, I want to check if I have any red flowers here. Not in this chest. And not in this chest. So I want to try and find some red flowers to be able to make some red carpeting to lay down at the house. Uh, also, in this episode, we'll most likely tackle making something in the bathroom, which I don't know how to make a bathroom design really right now, but I will hopefully figure that out on the way of building it. So, let's see if we can spot any red flowers from up here. I know there are some poppies on the path over there, but I don't want to rip those up because uh, it's part of the design of the path that I think looks pretty cool. But I did see poppies farther out in that direction over there, if you guys can see it. Um, so I'll run over and grab these, so I don't have to rip up any of the, uh, like, yeah, like, I think this is a nice touch on the path, it's some of the color of the path and everything, and it's been here the whole time, so I think, uh, retaining the environment looks better, but yeah, there's plenty of them over here, 
so we don't have to worry about taking any flowers away that uh, look nice in the world. So I'll probably have to spend some time off camera re-farming that field and replanting it and then uh, of course feeding uh, the cows as much wheat as I can get to them because uh, I want to be able to fill up the pasture a little bit more than it is now uh, just in case I need more leather which I most likely will because I'll be enchanting a lot of books eventually so I'll have to have a lot of cows available at my dispense. Uh, and this, this is a little bit full right now, but it can stand being just a tiny bit more filled, I guess. But once again, I get that's another thing that I'll decide later after we finish uh, our current projects, whether or not I want to change that or go in a different direction. So now that we've got a bunch of rose red dye, I'm going to go ahead and make as much carpets out of it as I can. Just only 12, which isn't nearly enough. This is a good start, and it's a way to show off what I want uh, the look of it to be. And then I can uh, most likely just collect the carpet up myself off camera or whatever and be able to finish it off. So I wanted to just sort of fill in all this these wood gaps here with red carpet because red carpet is a really nice interior design in my opinion. And it'd be a way to give it more color. They're nice bright uh, colors in contrast with the dark, the general dark colors of the house. So I think it looks really nice. So I'll lay that down along all the oaken paths here. And now one of the issues that I've also just thought of is that we don't have a bedroom. So what we'll most likely do is we might just go ahead and... Do I want... Which section do I want? Um, we might just uh, rip out the chest from this area here. This seems like the biggest area. So unfortunately we did build... We did store into this chest. So that's going to be kind of annoying to uh, remove. But I can't... Oh, I can't open that because there's steps there. So go ahead and break that, which is going to release a bunch of stuff, but that's okay. Give me that chest. Then these are going to be openable. Yes, they are. Which is really nice. So go ahead and grab this stuff. Easy peasy. Just get all of that junk in there that was previously stalled up with ground. And also, I don't want to keep a lot of this crap. I don't need this. Alright, and then uh, what we'll do is we'll cut off this room here, or this area here even, from like here and across to here. And we'll fill this gap in with some wood. Something like that. These two centerpieces will not be filled. From the top here, we can go ahead and go with uh, general here. We can go ahead and go with some some sort of design like that. Oh, I like that actually. And then uh, we can take two of these doors here. Oh my god, are you ever going to select the right thing? Put two of these doors here, and that will make for a nice entrance to a master bedroom that we'll hopefully put here eventually. Uh, and I can actually go grab the bed from downstairs and uh, put that down. I'll probably also make a second bed because it's just a nice way, uh, a nice aesthetic way to uh, establish like a more grandeur bed is to have two of them here and then make some sort of design around them. So uh, probably some sort of like, s not steps, but like slabs or something, steps on the side maybe, something like, uh, something like this. And then fences going upwards on each one of those sides, and etc. So I'll come up with something to do for that eventually. Probably won't use this. I'll probably actually use quartz. So I'll have to take another run to the nether to collect some more quartz. But I will uh, fix up that master bedroom eventually. Uh, and then we'll have to fill all of that attic with chests. Which will be a long, long part of uh, collecting wood. But what I want to do right now is I want to go collect some more wool so we can go ahead and finish off these carpets and also have some wool prepared to put a television here because it's a pretty standard in-home thing to do and I decided I kind of wanted to go with a more modern style especially after I built this kitchen uh, is sort of uh, urging itself towards a modern style 
So uh, what I was thinking for the television is just throwing up something like, okay, let's not do that. Like right here and here and putting slabs. They make so those quick. Come on then. Slabs on the other side here. Then a too tall of a uh, too tall of black wool all the way across here. So we'll need at least eight wool for that, and uh, at least eight ink sacks. Actually, I think we'll just need it exactly. I don't think I'll need more than that. And then we'll put the remaining three. Oh man, I don't. I'm not actually sure what to do with this. I guess it'll ha just have to be two. And we could do something like that. Yeah, that looks nice. So that'll be a couch for watching the telly. And then I will most likely here at the center find either some kind of table to build. Uh, matter of fact, let me just grab some oak wood steps really quick, which I don't have enough for. So I'll grab some oak wood while I'm out on the adventure as well. So I'll see you guys then. All right, everyone, we are back at the house now, and I have finished off our red carpet. Look at it. It's red. I know. It's fantastic, isn't it? Uh, I did stop in between this, uh, in between recordings, so I might be a little bit off on what we were doing. But, uh, I do remember pretty much just keeping things. So I finished up the red carpet here, took a lot longer than I expected, and I also collected the black wool here for our telly. Which I think looks pretty nice, in my opinion. Uh, I also grabbed some oak wood while I was out, so I'll go ahead and run over here. Darn dog. <laughs> and I'm gonna make a... <laughs> My Oakwood steps here is to uh, try and build a semi-table thing. What I was thinking is if we went... Oh, that's not going to work at all. Where's my axe? There's my axe. Uh, I need one of you. And then if I place one of you like this, then one of you like this. Then one of you like this. Then the final one of you like this. Will that do the thing? It does. I think that looks pretty nice. What I'll do eventually is I'll set two, uh, two more uh, the quartz chairs on either side of that, and that'll be a little table. And then all we have left to finish this outside of that is the bathroom here. So pretty much what I'm thinking in here is, one, we obviously need a loo. Uh, that's not right. So I was thinking sort of a design like this, and then we could put some sort of block up here. I'm not going to use wood, obviously. We don't have wood toilets anywhere anytime soon but then if we were to put like a a bootin what eh bootin oh there's a torch there bootin and then uh we were to hello oh those are steps right uh if you were to put the bootin here and then if we were to make a trap door like so so oh wait Okay, I was gonna. I was wondering if it was gonna be the same trapdoor uh, as like the iron trapdoor. So that's the uh, that's the toilet kind of thing. I think it looks pretty cool. And, but if we were to substitute this out for sandstone, I'll probably go with. Uh, I think it'll look pretty nice. And then I'll see if I can make some sort of a shower, some sort of a shower design over here. Probably with a uh, white stained glass in a sort of box design. And then put a sink across here and maybe around the corner a little bit for uh, the general... It's the general bathroom sink aside from the uh, toilet tree. Um, but aside from that, the house is looking pretty finished. The only thing that I have left uh, is the bathroom. And up here in our uh, bedroom, I want to customize this, obviously, a decent bit. I want to put in uh, some tables here and here. So in these two spots here. I'll curve one around here and then keep this one straight. Uh, then maybe put some chests on either side just for random storage. And maybe put a furnace and a crafting table up here just for convenience if I happen to be up here. So that's pretty much the plan for the continuation of this house. I, th I had a lot of fun making this house. This has been a really cool project and I think it turned out really nice. It's not as large scale as I expected it to be. It's probably due to the like the thickness of the walls, of course. Uh, but I think it's really this open area out here is really nice. 
it doesn't seem like the entire house is open because of these two walls go and lead into separate rooms and the attic is closed off of course uh you know what uh i, m I might i don't know i have if i have any miscellaneous stone here but i think it'd be kind of cool to just throw some butans across uh the side of the television to just look like some adjustment buttons or something like that so i'll go in oh that's the wrong place I'll go and smelt some stone. I grabbed some coal uh, while I was out doing the things as well, so I'll just throw that in there. And there was a skeleton when I came in here again. It, it, it somehow spawned like inside of here. I'm I put a torch down here because I'm believing it probably spawned somewhere around here because that's where it was standing when I came in. But uh, now that we've got carpet down and better lighting, I doubt that there's going to be any spawning within this house because the upper floor is also torched up very well. Maybe this place over here needs a torch, yeah. And then uh, in here, there's two torches. It'll probably throw a torch up there. Yeah, that's a step. That Those are also steps? Oh, yeah. Yeah, there we go. That's close enough. Just need proper lighting throughout this because I just never want to have monsters spawning in here for any reason. And the hope is... They're probably going to end up continuing to... No, wait, I don't think they'll spawn out here. So I think we'll be okay out here as well. So pretty much all of this area, except for, like, the mountainous areas. So, like, out here, maybe they might spawn out in this little on this little platform, but it'll be hard for them to reach me all the way up to here on this platform, which is pretty much the closest I'll get to that area. So, in general, there won't be anything spawning around here. But anyways, I'll go ahead and collect the materials for the bedroom and the uh, bathroom off camera. But until then, thanks everybody for watching this episode of Vanilla Minecraft. Uh, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye!